Good evening from Jerusalem. This is Orit Arfa with the news update for March 13th. The United Nations has cleared Israel of any possible damage to the Temple Mount during its controversial excavations at the Mugrabi Gate in the old city of Jerusalem. UNESCO will publish a report tomorrow confirming that Israel has adhered to international excavation standards. But the UN has critiqued Israel for not involving other world and Muslim bodies and will ask that any work at the site be halted until international observers can arrive at the site to supervise the dig. Omar warned against the premature U.S. withdrawal from Iraq in a video speech he gave at the APEC conference, breaking an unspoken policy that Israel not enter the controversial debate on U.S. domestic policy. U.S. success in Iraq and a calculated responsible exit, he urged, is essential to Middle East stability and the security of Israel. His words have drawn attention considering that sentiments against the war in Iraq run high among Democrats and the U.S. public. Omer warned against the premature U.S. withdrawal from Iraq in a video speech to the APEC conference, breaking an unspoken policy that Israel not enter the controversial debate on Iraq. Those who are concerned for Israel's security, for the security of the Gulf states, and for the stability of the entire Middle East should recognize the need for American success in Iraq and responsible exit, Omer told members of the American Israel lobby. His words have drawn attention considering that sentiments against the war in Iraq run high in the U.S. The interim report of the Winograd Committee investigating the Lebanon War is slated to be published in April, assessing the performance of senior figures involved in the war's management. The pending publication of the report stirred controversy when those potentially criticized, including Prime Minister Ulmer, challenged its fairness and sought to delay its publication. At a recent news conference, Vice Premier Shimon Peres remarked that attempts to rid Iran of nuclear capability should be accomplished peacefully. I do hope that the problem can be solved economically, politically and psychologically, he said. Peres perpetuated ambiguity regarding Israel's possession of nuclear capability when he said that Israel would not be the first to present nuclear weapons in the Middle East. Today on InfoLive, Gilad Stockelman, an IDF reserve tank commander who was killed by Hezbollah fire in the Lebanon war, inspires his brother to follow in his footsteps. A Druze bride will not be able to visit her family again in Israel when she moves to Syria with her new Syrian Druze husband. Former Prime Minister Ehud Barak has his eye on the victory of the labor leadership race. The story of Face, a Muslim Moroccan who arrived in Israel to study during the Oslo peace process. Today, a book written about him includes a preface by Shimon Peres. Infolive.tv, the world's first television channel broadcasting on the web in four languages, live from Jerusalem. If you want a direct look at Israel and the Middle East, Infolive TV is there, at the heart of the information, at the heart of history, at the heart of Israel. Infolive.tv